Welcome. In this particular demo, we're going to have a look at how we can use um, SVM uh, subclips in particular within Eclipse as a means of sharing our project uh, across a number of, of team members. What we want to set up is, is a shared repository where all of the team members have one point where they can commit their changes to, where they can pull across the most recent uh, code that other people have developed and to have sort of a unified single uh, work point. It's going to be handy, not only for coordinating activity across the team, it also gives us a means of um, automatically backing this up and a means of reverting back to, to previous versions if, if you need to, if there's a particular bug that was introduced then and you want to revert back to a version that didn't have it. It also helps me in that I can check out your progress at any time and I can have a check to see what different people have been doing by way of, um, of commits to the repository. So let's have a look at how we can uh, do this. I have set up two workspaces here. I have one workspace within which we have the, the, the basic game project we created in, in the last video and also an empty second workspace. And, and what we're simulating here is a, a team of two where we have, each person has their own particular workspace. Now these are located at the minute in the same directory though in reality they've been sort of different machines but that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, so let's have a look. We're going to go through a number of um, steps and the first one's going to be how we actually share uh, the repository um, for the first time. So one team member wants to do this and only one. So one team member will upload their starting project and then the other team members will download uh, that from the repository. So we're going to have a look at the upload bit first of all. Uh, things that we want to do if we go to our SVN repository exploring, um, you will then want to add in a new location. Um, this is what you will be emailed um, out with. Uh, see SQB P is my particular one, but you'll have one for your group. And okay, initially at the start it's going to be empty. Uh, here we actually will have a few ones. Let me delete this because I. This is the one I want to, to remove. So I want to assume we didn't have anything uploaded, first of all. So I'm, I'm clearing this out uh, basically to, to represent the case that we have a repository, at which point we haven't uploaded anything to it. Um, so you want to verify that you can connect to the, the repository OK. Having done that, then the person who is sharing the game for the first time, they should go back to their Java perspective. And if you right click on the game, um, down at the, the bottom, you may probably can't see it on, on what we have here. There is a, a team option and we can share the project and that's what we want to do. We want to actually share this particular project. So we go down to team after the right click and we click on share project. And it brings up then uh, a menu asking us how do we want to actually share that project. Now it gets the built-in one, but we've also installed our SVM plugin. So SVM is the particular mechanism that we will be used for sharing it. Uh, click on next. It asks us the repository. Now we've already opened up um, the one for your, your team, so we'll use that one. And asks us, okay, what name do you want to share it as? So we're calling it Super Game here, that's fair enough. Make sure you are sharing it as, as a sensible name. Don't pick something like Game 1 or Game 2. Pick, pick the name you want to use for your, your project as you go through this. Uh, so we'll, we'll use the same one as the project name. And you can give it an initial uh, comment if you want to. But we'll do Finish. And you've got a message here, Confirm Open Perspective. Now we will, um, we will be looking at the synchronized view in, in good deals. We don't open it just at this point in time. If we were, what you'll notice then is that we have our project with a little bunch of question marks next to it and changes. And if we were to go back to our repository exploring and you were to right click and to do refresh, basically to update it, you'll notice now that on the repository we have a new folder set aside for um, our particular game. So it's, it's been provided there, but at the minute it's empty. And this is where we want to go to the synchronization perspective. This is the one where we can synchronize our project with the version that's available on the SVN server. 
Uh, so we can see new changes that other people have made. We can um, add up the changes that we've made to it. Uh, if we right click on this, you get to see that it is saying, OK, there's an empty project up in the SVN. You have a bunch of stuff in this machine. So there's a lot of pluses, which is suggesting it wants to add this to the repository. And basically, it's adding the, the full project to it. We don't want to add the full project. Uh, and this is something that's actually quite important to remember that we, we do take into account. So for example, there's a bin directory where we have the um, binary files that are put into. So it's auto-generated. Anytime we build our code, we get the contents of this. That's not the type of thing that we need or indeed want to, to share in the repository. So we want to exclude this. How do we exclude it? If you right-click on it, uh, down at the bottom you'll see Add to SVN Ignore. So you, you have for each project an ignore list, which are the things that it won't bother trying to, to synchronize. So click on that. Uh, resource by name is, is fine. We want to add any of the bin stuff. And bin now has disappeared. The other thing is gem. These are the auto-generated files. So again, they're generated for us. We don't want to synchronize those. So if we right click and we add those also to SVN Ignore. The rest of the things are, are fair enough in terms of assets, any libraries, the resources, obviously the source, the manifest. Uh, th these are all things that we're, we're happy actually to, uh, to store on the, uh, the repository. Uh, so if you want to do this, we've got a couple of options. Uh, we can um, either over here, we can commit all outgoing changes. We can also right click on it and, and do commit down here. Commit is where we're happy with um, the code that we have. It's worked, it's tested, and we do want to share it with other people. So we click on commit. Let me just resize this a tad so you can get to see the, the whole thing. Uh, it's telling us, OK, here are the things that have are changed or are new, as we want to commit, and we want to add in the initial title. So, so don't, don't skimp on the, 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 the title, because if you do need to revert back to a previous version, it's, it's the comments that are going to help you understand um, you know, what point or what changes we put in. So team member one, let's say this is our initial uh, commit of the, the code. If we do OK here, all of the various things are then uploaded onto the uh, SVN server. We go back to our repository explorer. If we were to uh, right click in the repository and to refresh it, We've now got all of these things available up online and a particular uh, version number um, next to them. So one person has taken their project and has then shared it and put it, uploaded it to the SVN server. This is half of the, the sharing job done. The next um, stage is for all of the other team members uh, to to download this particular version to use it. So then everybody is using the same shared um, version. So I want to switch my workspace at this point. So this is, this is simulating, we're going from workspace one for team number one to workspace two. Uh, so this will probably be another computer, another laptop altogether. So it's the second person. Now the second person, they, they were not sharing their content to begin with. Um, so they don't have anything here. So we want to actually pull across from the SVN um, the, the contents that, uh, that, that have been uploaded. How do we do this? We can go to File. We can do Import. So we want to import something into our workspace. Down to SVN and check out a project from SVN. That's where we want to get it from. It'll ask us, um, is it a create a new or existing? If, if you had have opened up your, your browsing, your one, you can see it in existing. We haven't done it yet, so we'll do new. And we will... Um, Type in the uh, the URL. And you'll put in your, your group number here. Um, we pick the particular project we want to take out. Supercam. Uh, we're happy to check it out as as named uh, and use the default location. And this will then extract out from the repository uh, that particular project. And um, we've, we've got it um, extracted out. Now there's a few important things to note here that. Most of the icons have sort of a little yellow square next to it, which means it's the most recent version. You've got a few question marks from Gen and from Bin, the ones that we avoided. So whilst we built an Android project 
All Andridge Projects comes along with the bin and the gem directory. And at the minute, it's kind of going, well, this looks to be something new. And fair enough, if we were to go to our synchronization folder, and or actually, we can do it from this one here, back here. If you were to right-click on this, uh, go down to Team, and then do Synchronize with Repository, and we will switch to that repository, you will see it has gone and compared the version that we have to the version that's online, and has said, OK, you've got a bin directory and a gen directory. Um, do you want to add those online? And if I were to do commit, it would upload those to the online repository. We don't want to do that. We don't want to pollute our, our particular repository with pre-generated files that will change every single time. So each team member checking this out, they've got to remember to right-click and then to ignore the bin, right-click and ignore the generated content. Um, so at this point then, we, we now have both of these checked out. Team members are, are using the same shared piece of, of code, piece of functionality. This is good. So we're now at a point where we have shared the project across the team. The next stage after this is to, to look at the normal day-to-day -day activity where um, we, we have different people who are managing the process in terms of how do you update files, how do you commit files. And in the next video, we'll have a look at, at that day-to-day -day activity about how we can uh, manage that process. Yes.